Earth is the best name we could have given our planet. Without Earth, we wouldn't be able to survive. Without the organic matter or soil on the planet, there would be very little life. Without soil, there'd be no plants, and without plants, there'd be no cute little fluffy animals to eat them. If you want to grow your own fruit or vegetables in a garden or a greenhouse, understanding what kind of soil you have is going to be very important. So today we've got a simple little activity for you to help find out what kind of soil is in your garden. The soil shake test. For this activity, you're going to need a container with a lid, some soil and some water. So we need to dig down a little bit to start with and then we'll take a small amount and then put it into our container. So now we want to put some water into our containers. So allow me to water these. Thank you very much. Here we go. Very effective method here. Yeah, precision. That's what we aim for. So I guess all that solid material is going to mix with water, then we're going to leave it and it will start to separate out, won't it? Well, just before we do that, we're going to need to shake it around for about a minute or so. Let's shake it, let's go. Right, that should be about long enough. Okay. So now we are going to leave our containers for about half an hour. After about a minute, you will start to see larger sand-sized particles settle out of the cloudy water onto the bottom of the jar. After half an hour, you will see another line just above it. These smaller particles are the silt component. After a couple of days, the water will have cleared and the remaining particles will have settled out. These are the clay-sized particles. And the proportion of clay, silt and sand in your mixture is going to tell you what kind of soil you have. But what is soil? And why is its composition so important? Well, to find out, we caught up with our soil expert, Ben. Soil comes from the rock. And as that gets worn down and eroded, and rain and rivers and glaciers and wind, uh, and that gets added with organic matter from plants and animals and poo and all of that sort of thing, and it gets eroded down into different sized particles. And that's what we've been looking at today, is working out what sizes of particle you've got in your soil. Uh, so sand is, is the biggest of those little particles, uh, and silt the next biggest, and clay is the tiniest of those. And depending on what proportion you've got of those three materials determines what type of soil you have. You need to know how to manage your soil to get the best out of it, and often that means building organic matter. So adding compost, adding manure, uh, and that will help soil. If you've got a very dry, sandy soil, it'll help hold on to moisture. If you've got a very heavy clay soil, then it will help drain it and help break it up. So understanding what your soil is can help you understand how to manage it and how to get the best from it. And sometimes even which crops to grow from it. So carrots, for instance, like a lighter, sandy soil, uh, whereas brassicas like something a bit meatier to get their feet into. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and share it around and click my soil shaker to subscribe. If you've got any top gardening tips, leave a comment below. For more science you can try at home, click on the last video. And if you want to share your science video, please do over Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's like that little seagull dance they do to get worms. Blackbirds on the lawn when it's raining. Did they do that as well? Yeah.